Hey, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to utilize Acrobot.com and Adobe Captivate to essentially be a free quiz management alternative for us. So instead of using something like Moodle um, or a, a LMS setup, we want something simple that we can basically have students complete a quiz online and then have those results um, managed by you. So, in order to do this, we essentially need um, really just four things. And the, one of the most important things we need, obviously, since this is going to be online, we need a website. So, you're going to utilize, say, Adobe Dreamweaver or, um, you know, something as complex as that or something as simple such as WordPress to basically build your own website. Once you have that website built, you need a place to host it. So you can host it on uh, GoDaddy.com, you can host it on WordPress.com, you can host it on uh, Google, um, any number of alternatives for you. But essentially, once you have that site built, you're going to need some place to place it. Now, now there's a lot of places that do basically one-stop shopping. So you can build your website on WordPress and you can use WordPress to host it. Um, so you'd get, you know, mywebsite.wordpress.com or something like that in order to have contain the links that you need. Um, on top of that, we're going to need an Adobe.com account. This is free. WordPress is free. So, you know, we're not spending any money here. So we go to Adobe.com, we log in, or we create our username and our password, and then we have an Adobe.com account. You're actually going to be using an Acrobat.com account, but it uses your Adobe.com ID. Very confusing, I know. But it's essentially the same thing. I think Adobe just has so many products that they probably um, they probably don't even know what they have or how much they have. They have so many. Um, lastly, you've got uh, Adobe Captivate 5.5. This can be uh, six if you have version six. I'm using I'm using and running 5.5. I have not updated, so that's essentially what I have. Um, now, earlier versions than that, I can't quite speak to because I've never done this process on earlier versions, but um, I, would, I would venture to say that they would most likely work for us. And you need the Quiz Results Analyzer 1.5, which sounds very exciting, but it actually comes installed with Adobe Captivate, so if you have Captivate version, then you're going to have this Quiz Results Analyzer. If you have earlier version than that, you, you might want to be careful, but it's just an install. So if you've got somebody on ITN that you don't see it on your machine, you might want to refer to your IT guy and say, hey, this comes with Adobe Captivate. I need this installed on my machine. That's essentially what you run to view the results from your quiz. If you don't have that, then you can't access, really access the results like you want. So that's a good tool to have on your machine along with Adobe Captivate. Now, what do I use? Well, essentially, like I mentioned, I use WordPress. And I use WordPress as I've got it on my um, on GoDaddy because I'm using the self-hosting WordPress. But you can just go to WordPress.com. You can use it yourself to just have a free account that you don't have to fiddle with it at all. It just kind of be very easy to use. Build your own site. You can choose from a number of templates, and it's not only going to build your site, but it's also going to be a host for you. So when you go through WordPress.com and sign up for your own account. It's essentially going to give you, you know, my favorite website, .wordpress.com, and then you can put the links. One caveat to that, if you're going the free route and you're going to have issues with uploading a Swift file, which, which is what Adobe is going to generate for you. So there's some workarounds if, if you need to, but you might want an alternative free host. Um, I've used BraveNet for, for years as just kind of a free host that just sits there. Um, and you, you can put your Swift content on that. You can Google free host if you want to um, as well. If you, get, if you do self-hosting on WordPress, you can get access to those Swift files if you want. But if you're going free, there's some, uh, there's some issues that you may run into. It's very confusing, I know, but essentially... Um, you have your website, you need somewhere to put it online, and WordPress is, is really a fantastic way to do that because the tools are very easy to use. And of course, I've got my own Adobe.com account, and I've got the Adobe Captivate um, set up for myself. So 
why would we bother doing this? The great thing about it is you've got quizzes that you can create in Captivate. You can have your students log in, complete the quizzes, and the results are directly managed by you. So you can go in there and spit those results out in an Excel file, upload them to your gradebook, however it is you want to manage it. If you've got 30 kids in your class and you, know, you don't want to go line by line grade all those quizzes, you can just have them log in within your Adobe ID account because um, they will need one as well. Your students will need an Adobe.com account. That's something you want to kind of set up in advance and prepare them for. And then, obviously, you can kind of impress your peers that you know how to do this. So, um, you know, big hit at the, um, at the teaching in service, you know. You can get up there and show them this and razzle and dazzle. Um, the biggest problem is it is time consuming and you kind of need to know your way around the web a little bit to, if you fish out any errors. Um, and it's not easily updated because you'd have to go, if I need to change a quiz, I got to go back into Captivate, I got to publish it out again, I got to upload it again. Um, that's a hassle. And it is flash based. So we're having more and more tablet alternatives now. Flat Adobe is going to generate a flash um, file for us. So that, that becomes a little cumbersome if we want to do it outside of, say, a you know, Windows PC environment um, or a Macintosh. You know, if you want to do it on a tablet, they're not able to access those quizzes without any real issues. So um, you know, flash base becomes a problem for that. But if you're okay with that, fantastic. Then you can essentially um, do this um, do this number. So I'm gonna just kind of briefly go through the way I have mine set up. As I mentioned, I've got WordPress, so I've essentially kind of turned WordPress into a uh, faux website, and I've got links up here. And one of the links I've got is the Internet Basics. So when students jump to that page, they're going to be brought down to a link here, a written exam link and a practical exam link. Well, this written exam is basically the link that has the quiz, which I've created in Adobe Captivate. So I'm, uh, you know, once they, once they click on that link and go through the quiz, hopefully they're going to pass, not like me, and fail miserably, but they're going to be able to select a submit button. When they click that submit button, it's going to require them to enter their Adobe ID and their password. And as I mentioned, this is something that you want your students to be aware of at the end and already have created so they don't run into This is very confusing for you. It's not set up very well at all. This is very confusing. So especially, I have a lot of novice students in my class. So this is something that you want to say, hey guys, let's create an Adobe ID, let's not forget this Adobe ID, let's remember your passwords and your usernames, because when it comes down to our quiz, this is something that you're going to need in the future. So prepare them for that so they're not, oh my god, I don't know what is, you know, what's going on here. You want them to know what to do at this stage, what to input, so it runs very seamlessly. So they would plug in their Adobe their Adobe ID, not your Adobe ID, um, and then when they plug in their Adobe ID, what have you, they'll sign in and the results get posted to Acrobat.com, and then that's how you can, you know, mine that data. Um, and as I mentioned, I've got an Acrobat.com account through the Adobe.com. So once you go to Adobe.com, sign up, you have access to essentially everything. Um, in the next lesson, we're actually going to jump into Adobe Captivate and see how to set it up, how to publish it out to get to the point to where we can put it online.